My backyard fence, you can clearly see, needs some work and not just a new coat of paint. In fact, a new fence may be in order. But is it something this journalist and his modest budget can afford? I decided to consult someone who does nothing but fix and build fences. Eric Panetta is putting up a new one in Brighton, Colorado, and says wood has been pretty hard to find. I had a job a couple weeks ago. I couldn't find lumber. I had to look around at different lumber yards. Demand for lumber, he says, far exceeds supply right now, which can only mean one thing, higher prices. For example, the 4 by 4s you could get it for like 20 bucks. Now you're looking about anywhere from 30 to $45, um, depending where you go. According to Random Lengths, a wood products industry tracking firm, lumber prices are up 67% this year and up 340% from a year ago. I believe because of the whole COVID thing, you know, everything kind of just stopped, shut down. The pandemic caused lots of people to work remotely from home, and that's led many of them with time on their hands and money in their wallets to turn to home improvement projects. Lumber tariffs had already caused price increases. Then lumber production slowed on the assumption the pandemic would cause housing demand to drop. Instead, home building fueled by cheap mortgages took off. How would you say this has affected your business? I can't quote people for too long. I got to constantly keep them within two to three weeks because even the lumber yards, if I ask them for a quote, they tell me the quote's only good for a week. That's assuming they have wood at all. You call one place, they don't have it. You call the other one, they don't have it. You call the other one, they don't have it. It's so early in the season that it's just kind of like, what's going on? Like, when are we, you guys going to get it? And nobody has an answer. That lumber scarcity, Panetta says, doesn't usually happen until much later in the season. It will take a while for lumber yards to replenish their stocks and for prices to retreat. Anybody that, exp that thinks that it's going to go down, I don't really believe it. Uh, but You think it's here to stay? It's here to stay. The National Association of Home Builders estimates surging lumber costs have added more than $35,000 to the price of an average new single-family home in the past year. And that fence of mine? I may watch the paint peel for a while as I wait for this market to calm down. Henrik Sabrandi, CGTN, Denver.